Wait, I have one more uh, item. I have to do one more item. Even if you don't use it, I just really, really love it. Hi, NYT Cooking. I am Anthony, and I'm so excited because I'm actually back in my own kitchen. I've been quarantining in Austin, Texas, where we were meant to be filming our new season of Queer Eye. I got back to New York City, and I'm so happy because I'm back in my own kitchen with all of my stuff, all of my tools and appliances and all of my like nostalgic things that bring me a lot of joy when I'm cooking and I'm really excited to show them to you today. So let's get started. All right. Okay, so I know we did a French omelet last time, but I've been obsessed with a good soft scrambled egg. So my two favorite things to put on eggs. The first one is uh, for my beloved bagel shop in Montreal. There's always like the debate of, is it Fairmont or is it St. Vitor? There's no debate, it's St. Vitor. And they have their own everything bagel seasoning. But theirs is actually really low in salt. So then I take my new favorite salt, it's uh, Jacobson's garlic salt. So I put a little bit of that in there, make the soft scramble, take them off when they're still oozy and runny. And then I add a bit of this uh, melange bagel mix to garni, all dressed. One item down. Okay, so while we're on the topic of eggs, I whisk my eggs before I scramble them, and this is hands down the best metal mixing bowl. There's actually a lip on the side, so what's really nice is you actually get to hold the bowl in your hand, and it's really nice and thick and solid, um, it stays shiny, and this is what I whisk my eggs in, and this is actually what I make my salads, and I have a larger one for as well. And this one's by All Clad, it's really awesome. Not an endorsement, I just love this stuff. Third item, while I have you on eggs, I promise we're gonna move on from eggs, it's not all that I eat, but a whisk. Someone gave me this really nice all clad whisk and what I love about it is that the diameter isn't too high. It makes it really easy for whisking if you're using a smaller bowl and it has this like little ergonomic handle and it actually rests really nicely on the bowl, but this is a really, really good whisk and it's got a nice little heavy handle um, and it really breaks apart the whites really well so you don't have any of those like boogery whites and it's all nice and homogenized when you're making a scrambled egg. Okay, so the next item on my list, this bottle's almost done, that's how much I love it. Um, Villa Manadori balsamic vinegar. I love balsamic vinegar. Um, we make a lot of salads in this house during the day, especially because it's summer. This stuff, it's sweet, it's not too acidic. You don't need very much of it. Yes, it is pricier than your classic store, you know, brands, but I literally use like a third or a quarter of what I typically would um, with some of the cheaper stuff. And I love this. It brings me so much joy and it makes me look forward to lunch and dinner every day. This guy I keep right over here because I use him so often, but then I have a bunch of others that I keep up here as well. All right, so the next thing, maybe the single most important thing in my kitchen, it's when I come here in the morning before I start my day, coffee. I really should have, Tidy it up a little bit before, it's fine. Okay, so I have a nice little mix here. My new recent obsession is Tiny House Roasters. They're based in Austin. Counterculture is really great as well. And of course, like my OG love for La Colombe. Their Nizza is my favorite. I love a nice little medium roast and with notes like milk chocolate and nuts and brownie. I mean, what's not to love about that? Um, yeah, and then I make my espresso every morning on this baby. Oh, I'm really excited to talk about this one. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so the next thing on my list, I love a good carbonated beverage. I like making like little uh, mocktail-y things at night and mixing like different like herbal elixir-y things. And so this machine, it's called Arc. It's really fancy. It's got like a nice little matted finish and it comes with a bottle that's in the fridge right now. And you literally just put it in with water, press down once, it makes a really um, weird aggressive sound that freaks the dog out, but it's awesome, I love it. So yeah, the Arc Machine is my next item. It's really cool looking. Okay, so the next thing in my kitchen that I love, it's really fancy and my friends make fun of me sometimes. My favorite flatware ever. Look at this fork. It's massive and it's like a literal trident. Look how shiny it is. And then the most impressive, in retrospect, I definitely should have checked them out, but like it's the size of the head of the spoon is literally half the size of my head. And so I haven't, I use these more for like salads and for serving vegetables. So I definitely didn't eat as many as I got, 
but I really love them. And then the teaspoon, this is a teaspoon. This is the largest teaspoon in the history of the world, but they're so great. They're just so solid. You feel like you're holding a weapon. Not that I like to hold weapons, but you just, you just they just feel solid. Um, yeah, so that's my little collection here. Okay, so I haven't been entertaining as much slash at all over the past few months, but when I am and I'm doing a cheese board, um, this awesome, awesome guy, his name is Max Polia. Um, he makes the most beautiful bone knives. Um, and my favorite, this is actually an oyster shucker that I use if I have like a big wheel of like a Parmigiano Reggiano or like a Pecorino, and you kind of use it to cut little nuggets of, uh, of cheese instead of slicing them. Cause I like to have like a big aggressive bite. I don't like slices of Parmesan. I like it when it's little nuggets. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for um, the oyster shucker, which I use as a cheese knife. So that's my next item. Some people like to spend money on clothes or shoes or jewelry. I'm not that guy. Um, for me, I like to buy ridiculous things for my kitchen that I may or may not ever use, which leads us to the next item, which is this Moviel fish poacher. Will I ever poach an entire fish? I don't know, but this thing is beautiful. I love looking at it and it's just, it's such a, it's such a cool thing. Okay, so the last item, this is a little more um, of like, kind of a bit of a nostalgic piece. So here I have a bunch of like tchotchke things that I keep in my kitchen. This is a fruit bowl. Um, it's a copper fruit bowl um, that Alice Waters gave me. And so what I did is to put stress bananas in it. And when people come over, they like to just kind of take one and it just makes you feel really good when you're squeezing it. So I have fake stress bananas in a beautiful little copper bowl. Thanks so much for joining along as I show you my 10 favorite, most beloved items in my kitchen. And the last item, whoa, come here, come here, whoa, is Neon, a little foster rescue pup from APA in Austin. And she loves to sniff around when I'm cooking and she eats pretty much anything except garlic and chocolate. <laughs>